All right, so let me know when I can go ahead and start. Ellen, please go ahead and thank you so much for being with us this evening, um, late in the uh, in the evening for you, for you. Thank you for hosting me, it's always a pleasure. Hi everyone, my name is Alan Cordell. I work at the Kaiserswe Institute of Technology here in Germany. So Germany is becoming a very popular destination for bachelor's and master's level of education for international students. We have a lot of benefits for studying in Germany that is starting to get us some attention globally. Because of that, we've noticed that a lot more international students are beginning to apply to our university programs, especially if our programs are offered in English. So we are the Kaiserswe Institute of Technology. We are located, of course, in the city of Kaiserswe. That's in the southern part of Germany. We're about half an hour away from France and one hour away from the metropolitan city of Frankfurt. This picture here you can see is the heart of our city where we are located. Now our city is about 350,000 people, including the students. So by German standards, we're a pretty big size city. You can see here that the heart of our city, despite being so large, is still very um, so natural. There's a lot of forest and there's these nice gardens. In the middle of uh, our city and in the middle of these gardens is the castle. Directly in front of the castle is the building for our students where they live, study, and work. So that means the first thing our students see when they wake up in the morning is going to be this picturesque German fairy tale castle. So your TikToks are going to look amazing, of course. So studying here gives you access to the best benefits of living in Germany. You have a lot of nature and a lot of outdoor thing to experience and a lot of beautiful buildings and architecture. But at the same time, you're in the heart of a vibrant city with a lot of students, meaning there's a lot of things to do, explore and experience. It's a great thing for students who are looking to get out and see a little bit of Germany and a little bit of the world. Germany um, is known maybe for having a lot of rain and being very cloudy, but Kaiserswe is a very sunny city and it's very warm. So we're actually quite famous for having excellent weather. And it's great for students who are looking to, of course, enjoy the outdoors and they want a European experience without some of the European weather. So of course, coming to Kaiserswe is a great place to get a good soft start to Germany and having a wonderful time. Now, another good thing about Kaiserswe is for students who come to Germany, a lot of them come to Germany because they want to work later on. If you're looking to work in Germany later and start your career here in Germany or in Europe, Kaiserswe is a great place to start out. Located nearby are a lot of very famous international companies. Some of them you may recognize. So we have companies like Mercedes-Benz, Daimler, Siemens, Zeiss, Bosch, Porsche, um, Adidas, John Deere, and more. So a lot of these global players have very large offices located close by. They hire people who speak English and they want to hire people who have international and intercultural experience. Many of our students end up working for companies here and they use that to start their first careers. So if you're looking to earn some money as a student on the side, or if you're looking to get your first job, Kaiserswe is a great place to start out. It's one of the gateways to Europe. Now, if you're not yet old enough to uh, so get ready to start your studies or maybe get a job, um, but you still want to see what it's like in Germany and see what it's like studying engineering at a university. We have a great summer program that's um, a perfect start for students age 16 and up. You can join us here on campus and get your first taste of what it's like being a university student. You'll have classes on campus, a lot like a student. You'll be integrated into student life. You can stay in the dormitories on our campus together with the students. 
You'll be going to the cafeteria and eating lunch like a student. You'll even have time for yourself to explore the city and the campus. So you can sit down in a cafe and really feel the experience of what it's like being a student here of engineering and a student at the KIT. So if you wanna get your first taste, this is a great way to start out. Now our summer programs are going to be um, in June or July for this year. We have three of them located directly on campus. You can register for those on our website if you're interested. Now, we also have our Summer Engineering Academy, which is online and in person, and that's going to be located in Suzhou, China. For those who want to see what it's like working in global manufacturing and robotics, this is a great place for you to start out. You can also join the Suzhou program as well. So we have four summer school programs this year. Feel free to join one if you're interested. They're quite popular with students. Now, the students, like I said, for our summer school and for our bachelor's program live on campus. Our campus is located in the heart of the city across the street from a castle. You don't need a car to get around. You can walk pretty much everywhere or take a bike or public transportation. We're about five minutes away from the KIT's um, large research facilities, the cafeteria, and everything you need. Directly across from us is going to be the main shopping street with banks, restaurants, um, places for shopping, groceries, and more. Everything you need will be directly at your doorstep. Also, our campus has options for accommodation for students in single and double rooms. For a single room, you'll live on your own. Great, no roommates. If you live in a double room, you'll have a roommate who will be staying in the room with you together, but those rooms will be a little bit more cheaper. So if you're looking to save some money, getting a roommate is a great way to save costs. Now, if you live with us on campus, your rent will cover all utilities, water, electricity, internet, and heating. In Germany, heating is a big topic right now. So having it all covered in your rent by the university is a pretty good deal. Our university is currently undergoing construction. So by the time you start in July um, of 2023, we'll have a lot of new facilities available for the students to use and explore. So you'll have a brand new renovated campus just for you. Now, the KIT as a university is about 25,000 students, and it's divided into programs that are taught fully in English or fully in German. Now, our programs that are taught in English and in German are known and respected around the world. In fact, we are considered a very highly ranked university in Germany. We are a member of the TU9, which is the nine elite technical universities in Germany. So we have quite a popular and powerful name here in the country. We are also ranked internationally. We are in fact ranked number one for employability. No surprise, you saw where all those companies were located close to our campus. So there's a lot of opportunities for our students for jobs at the KIT. We're also considered world ranked and excellent university in the subjects of engineering and in computer science. With knowledge transfer, our students are usually top of the line in receiving access to new and exciting research and participating in experiments and research with companies. Joining us here at the KIT means that you will have some of the best benefits of a world-class education. Kaiswood is a nice city to live in. Um, it's well known for how clean it is. Um, it's also well known for a lot of the um, so living opportunities that come. If you take a look here, you'll see that there's a lot of festivals going on. Um, earlier, we had our Christmas markets. During the summertime, we'll have our summer festivals. 
You'll also find a lot of art events going on and cultural, um, so things such as concerts, um, so special holidays, carnival will be soon, so there's a huge parade and a lot of music. Living in the heart of the city means you will be in the middle of all this life, culture, and experiences. This would be something for you to take advantage of, and your studies here will be not just you going to class and sitting in your room bored. You'll be able to go out, meet new people, experience new things, and see what Germany has to offer. Kaiserwood is a great city to live in, and it has a lot for students who are looking to get out and have some fun. Of course, living on campus and living next to campus comes with some benefits as well. The library is open for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And I was talking to Yassim earlier about how important this is for students who need to study. If you're looking to study, you can always stay even overnight in the library and you can rent rooms there in order to prepare for your exams. We have a cafeteria that has multiple food options. There's going to be Anything you are looking for to eat will be available there. Vegetarian, vegan, and halal food is of course available. There are sports programs for students who are looking to get a little bit of um, so sports and exercise in their life. And there you can join the clubs to meet new people. All clubs are more or less bilingual. So you'll have an opportunity to meet people from other programs and even get to meet some of the German students and develop friendships with them. Student groups are very popular. Our most popular is something like KA Racing. KA Racing is our student-run Formula One racing team. They travel around and they compete and they actually win quite a lot. If you're looking to get into the Formula One industry, joining a cutting edge and well-rated racing team is a great way to open the door to opportunity for you. There's quite a lot of benefits of studying on our campus. The KIT is a very old and established university, and we have quite a lot of famous alumni. We are affiliated with six Nobel laureates, and you'll find some famous alumni throughout our history, such as Carl Benz, the inventor of the automobile. You'll also find um, so people who you've had maybe in your physics class, like Heinrich Herz. You'll also find some new modern names as well. Some people such as Gast, the astronaut, or you'll even hear Hans Werner Hector, one of the co-founders of SAP, which isn't important for teenagers and high school students, but every adult who's worked in an office unfortunately knows what SAP is. So that comes from us as well. Maybe one day you guys can also be added to the list of famous and notable alumni coming from the KIT. We'd love to have your name up here as well. So let's talk a little bit about our study program. So I'd like to talk about our English taught Bachelor of Science Mechanical Engineering International degree. It's three years, six semesters, taught fully in English. No German is required to study with us. It's a Bachelor of Science, so you can go on to study a Master's of Science in Engineering if you're interested. Every year, our program begins in October. And students who want to get a little bit of uh, a head start can join for their pre-semester course in August. Our online application program opens in December and stays active until April 30th of every year. Between December and April 30th, you can upload your application online. And by mid-May, everyone will receive their admission decision. The tuition fees for our program are going to be, if you're a member of our college program, 7,000 euros a semester. If you are not in our college program, it's going to be 1,665 a semester. So there's two options for you to study with us. And I'll go over that in detail in a little bit. Now our Bachelor of Science Mechanical Engineering International Study Program covers three years, six semesters. And at the beginning of your studies, it covers the basics that all engineers need to know. So we'll give you a strong background in things such as mathematics. You'll learn how to program using Maple. You'll learn about 3D mapping, vectors, and applied mathematics for engineering principles. You'll also have classes like mechanical design, where you'll learn the principles of designing. You'll also learn how to draw and draft by hand 
and also using computer assisted technology such as SOLIDWORKS AutoCAD. You'll have classes in physics and you'll start off with physics just like you've had in school. So waves and magnetism and of course uh, machinery. And then later on, you'll go on to even higher level physics with optonics, photonics and more. You'll have computer science You'll have an introduction to computer science. We'll teach you a programming language like Python or Java. And you can, of course, get more into detail on that if you're interested. Now, that's about the first half of your studies. Halfway through, you'll be able to go into an area of specialization close to your um, so fourth, fifth, and sixth semesters. Your area of specialization can be one of three. In English, we offer global production management. You'll learn about logistics. You'll learn about mass manufacturing, robotics, and how to own and operate a factory, designing the products that you've made yourself and shipping them all around the world. For people who want to go on to become a manager and wear a suit, this is a great program for you to specialize in. We also have a specialization in automotive engineering. If you like automobiles, the car comes from us. We have the longest tradition of automotive engineering technology in the world. Join us and learn more about how to design and optimize automotive um, so, uh, processes, create cars, and make them better. Automotive engineering is the future of the automotive engineering of the automotive industry. So join us to learn more about that. Energy engineering is for people who are interested in things such as renewable energy or power and energy management. Learn about how batteries work, how power grids and um, how uh, so the power system for an entire city or region is set up. Learn about renewable energy solutions for a rapidly changing energy economy. Energy engineering is for students who want to get more into that and the electrical side of things. You can choose up to two of these specializations. In your sixth and final semester, you will have to write a bachelor's thesis. In Germany, you will have to do this either in research or you will have to do this with a company. If you do this in research, you can of course do this at the KIT under the guiding uh, hand of one of our academics who will of course help you along and keep an eye on you. If you do it in the industry, you can find a company located nearby or somewhere in Germany who will be able to provide you with support and even um, part-time position while you work on your thesis. This is a great way to get industry experience and open the door for your future. One of the reasons why we're also ranked number one for employability. At the end of your studies, you can go directly to work here in Germany, or you can go on to study your master's. You can study your master's at the KIT or at other universities in Germany, Europe, or anywhere in the world. Our program is fully accredited. Students who um, want to go on to work, if you have completed a bachelor's program here in Germany, you 18 months on your visa to find a job related to the area of your studies. So you have quite a lot of time to find a position. Studying in Germany, especially engineering, Germany really wants to keep you around. So if you're looking for a, to start a career, Germany is a great place to stay. And we will of course try everything to help you get set up here in Germany with your first jobs. All right. Now, if you're looking to apply, like I said, our application period is from December until April 30th. During that time, you would submit your application documents online. The admission decisions will be sent out at around mid-May, and the students have around May, early June to receive information on if they will be accepted, rejected, or put on the wait list. By this time, everybody should receive their final status, even the people on the wait list. Now at around June, July, August, we hope to have you guys decide if you would like to join us here at the KIT. We will be offering a series of informative webinars 
and online information sessions in order to tell you about the next steps and what you need to know. How to get to a university, when um, are your orientation weeks, how to apply for a visa, stuff like that will all be covered. You'll also have information on how to move into on-campus housing. So your timeline is going to be December to April 30th, you apply. At around mid-May, you will receive your admission decision. Between May and June, you should probably decide if you would like to join us. July, August, even September, you'll get some information and webinars helping, getting ready, helping you get ready for your next steps. We will help prepare you for joining us on campus because your university starts in October. Great, if you're looking to apply, you'll have to have the following documents. We want to see the students provide their school leading certificate. If you don't have that before April 30th, you would submit your transcript of records. So you can get that from your school or your school guidance counselor and turn that in. We also want to see the SAT. A score of 1,200 points or better is going to be required for students who are applying to us. Now, we also want to see proof of English language proficiency. If your school is conducted fully in English, um, you can actually sign a form and you won't have to take a language test. If your school was not held in English, then you can take the TOEFL, IELTS, or you can take one of the Cambridge certificates. All of those will be accepted as proof of English language proficiency. We want to see good grades in math and physics. The higher your grades are and the subjects of math and physics, the easier your time will be studying engineering. So do try to have strong grades in those subjects in particular. Of course, the better your grades are, the easier it will be for you. We also want to see a letter of motivation, one to two pages. Tell us about yourself. Why are you interested in studying engineering at the KIT? What do you want to learn? What do you want to do? With information like this, we can get a good picture of who you are. We like to choose students who would fit well to our program, who have international aspirations and experience, students who are interested in science, engineering, and have had some previous experience and maybe some accomplishments in that area as well. And we want to see students who are curious and ready to learn. Now, for students who are going through the, um, so I think you were mentioning um, students who are doing a little bit of APs, but might be doing the, um, so Turkish school system, the Lycée Diplomacy, you'll have to turn in your code card. Now, you'll turn in your transcript of records and you can get an admission decision from us. But by October, you'll have to turn in your completed code card with your placement. We'll have to have a score for the AYT of 180 or better. And we will, of course, for the um, code card, if you're looking to study at a University of Applied Sciences, which would not be us, um, but another German university, um, you could always do the TYT with 180 or better. So do keep that in mind. If you're going through the Lycée Diplomacy system, you'll have to take the university entrance exam. And on the AYT or TYT, you'll have to have the following scores. Don't forget to have your code card with your placement and that'll of course help ease the process here. If you're studying in the IB, it can be complicated. We want to see your IB with the following things. You have to do the full IB both years. We want to see two languages on your IB. We want to have a language A and a second language, language A or language B. And it can't be a brand new language. So it can't be ab initio. Has to be a language you've had for a couple of years. We also want to see a science, biology, chemistry, or physics. If you want to become an engineer, I very highly recommend physics. And I would recommend maybe physics HL. We want to see mathematics. 
you can take AA or AI. We would prefer you take mathematics at higher level. You have to have either a math or a science at higher level to become an engineer. We highly recommend having a higher level math. Your score for your subjects have to be at least a four or above. For the KIT, we would like to see a minimum of 31 points on your IB. The better your score is, the easier it will be to get into our university. For students who are looking to study at the KIT, I recommend you have either math or a science at higher level. I recommend personally higher level math because if you don't have that, being an engineer is not going to be easy for you. Do higher level math and all German universities would love to have you. If you're looking to study another subject like medicine, you can get away with not studying math. If you want to study art, science, foreign languages, you also don't need a higher level math necessarily. But for engineering, higher level math is very important. For students who study with us, um, there are two options to be admitted. If you meet the admission requirements for the IB that I listed earlier, then you would get direct admission. If you don't meet all of the requirements, that's okay. You can still be admitted to our university, but you will have to participate in an eight week preparatory course called the pre-semester. For students who have to participate in the pre-semester, you would receive a letter and a form to fill out telling you how to sign up. You would receive that with your admission offer. Your pre-semester course would begin in August, two months before the university begins, and it would cover a refresher in the subjects of chemistry, English, math, and physics. You would have an exam at the end of the pre-semester course on those four subjects. If you pass this exam, you immediately get to begin studying at university a couple of weeks later. The pre-semester is more than just studying for the exam. You will be on campus two months early. You will be able to meet your new friends and learn more about the city, experience a couple of social events. There are some excursions. We go see the Carl Benz Museum in Stuttgart. We also go and I think even sometimes visit a manufacturing uh, facility of Mercedes-Benz. We also get to meet the KA racing team and a couple of the school clubs and activities. So it's a great way to meet new people, get used to the city, get set up, and you can also live on campus. So this is the perfect opportunity for you. Our pre-semester preparatory course um, is also available for students who have direct admission who would like to participate optionally. If you want to join the preparatory course, you would just fill out the form. So that covers a, just a basic overview of what you need to know about studying at the KIT and some things for admission. I talked specifically at the end um, of the slide where I gave you a basic overview of our program about the costs. There are two ways to study at the KIT. For 1,665 euros a semester, you can study in the public university program. You would have to find your own on-campus housing, your own German language courses, You'd have to take care of your stuff with the city and registration yourself, but you can save a lot of money. 1,665 euros is not a lot. Now, if you're looking to get some additional opportunities, some additional experience, and have an easier private life, we recommend joining the college program. When you get admitted to the KIT, you'll get an invitation to join the college program. The college program's fees are about 7,000 euros a semester. 
Now, these fees cover things such as access to on-campus housing. It also covers German language courses, career training and preparation, and it even covers things such as placement programs. You can join our smart projects, such as smart um, science, where you can work in a paid position as a research assistant on campus, or our smart factory, where you can work in a paid position with one of the companies nearby and get some valuable work experience while being a student. So there's a lot of options and a lot of opportunities available for people in the college program. But it is 7,000 euros. So you get to decide which path you would like to take when you begin your studies. Would you like to study for the 7,000 option or the 1,665 option? And if you decide that you want to switch, you can switch at any time between the two. So per semester, you can start off with the college program. And if you find out I'm very independent, I don't need that, I can actually go to the public program. And we would let you go to the public program and you can save some money. If you're in the public program and you say, oh, I could need some extra help with my studies, I could use with some extra internship opportunities and maybe some nice on-campus accommodation, you can join the college program. So this gives you and your family some financial flexibility in deciding which path and program is the best for you. And you can switch between them depending on your individual needs. The KIT is, I think, one of the few universities in the world that offers this level of flexibility in your studies. We want to make studying affordable, but also create opportunities for students who would like to have them. The choice is up to you. Another thing I would like to say about the KIT is after you've completed your studies, you can go on to study your master's here at the KIT if you would like. We have an English taught master's in mechanical engineering that is four semesters, two years. It would also cost the same tuition, so 1,665. You can study your master's here as well if you are interested. So that's just a basic overview of some of the things I was able to explain about the KIT. I hope I was able to cover um, so a decent um, so thoroughfare of what to expect. And if you guys have any questions or you'd like to know more, I love to be able to give you guys a little bit of an explanation. So feel free to speak up or write in the chat and I'd be glad to answer any questions you guys might have. I have a question. Yes. Uh, thank you for your presentation, first of all. Uh, is the SAT exam required for all participants or uh, is there an exemption for some students from the SAT exam? The SAT is required now for all students. So we want to see an SAT of 1,200 points or better, and it is a requirement now for admission. Okay, thank you. Great, no problem. Thank you for asking. Now, if you've done other tests as well, like the ACT, or if you've done AP exams, you can always include those with your application. They're not required, but if you have good tests and good test scores on things like the AP or the ACT, we'd of course love to see that. All right, so here we have a question. What are the language requirements for the KIT? All right, the language requirements for the KIT. Well, if you're studying in English, you do not need to know any German. So if you're studying at the KIT, um, we want to have um, the, I'll actually just bring up the slide with our admission requirements. We want to have an 88 for the TOEFL and on the IELTS, a 6.5 average on all areas. You could have UNISEAD level two or better, or you could do the Cambridge certificates. That's around the level of English that we would require. Now, if you're looking to study in German at the KIT, you're going to have to have around a B2 level by the time you're admitted. 
And I will be honest, a B2 is not going to be that great if you want to study a difficult subject like mechanical engineering. I would personally recommend a C1, even if you have a B2 and you can start your studies with the B2. So being realistic, a C1, you're still going to have a hard time with engineering. It's a difficult subject. Also, we have a question here. The 15th of July is the application deadline. That would be the application deadline if you are a student for, a, um, for another program. So if you're looking to transfer in at a higher semester, I think there are different um, application periods. For first year, first semester students, we have one intake per year, and that is in October. The application deadline is going to be April 30th. July 15th, I think, is for transfer students or for people for a higher semester. That's a special rule. But thank you for bringing that up. All right, so here we have a question. Are students who take the IB required to enter the Turkish National University exam? No, you are not. So IB students do not have to take the Turkish University entrance exam. Students who are doing the Lycée Diplomacy have to. If you are doing the Unlisans Lycée Diplomacy, you also have to take an exam. So students of the IB just have to do their IB. Great. Thank you for that question. Do we have any other questions? Can we clarify? Um, so for those students who do have to take the Turkish National University exam, what type of entrance um, besides the scores? Like, do they have to um, ha have gained an entry to a comparable program? like in engineering? I think I know the answer, but I think other people you know, might have a, that question. Or is it okay to get entrance into, uh, gain an entrance into any four-year program? Any. Any. Yes, your code card says you have to have a placement. It does not say a good placement. Yep. It does not say you have to have a placement in exactly mechanical engineering. It can be in any field as long as you have your placement. Perfect. Great. No problem. Also, I would check every year for the Turkish University entrance exam requirements. The Turkish University entrance exam grading changes every year. So always check every year to see if there's a change. Ar Arda has a new question. Are you seeing that or shall I read it? Ah, um, feel free to read it. Is there a way to apply for a higher semester directly? He says he couldn't find the um, bachelor's first semester mathematics program in the Burbung portal. I probably butchered that. Ah, well, if you're looking to apply for mathematics specifically, mathematics is taught in German. And for that, you'll have to have proof of German language proficiency. And for that, there is a different application period. So Arda, if you give me your email address, I can send your email um, information over to the mathematics department and they'll tell you when and how to apply. Thank you, I sent it to a personal message. Okay, great. So are you wanting to apply for a higher semester, Arda? Yeah, I want to read mathematics at Karlsruhe. Okay, yes. And you want to apply for a second or third semester, you said? Yeah, the second semester one, I think, yeah, not the directly the first one that ends in May, but starts around January one. Okay, um, so I think there's, there. do you mean there's two, the second intake? So for math, I think there's two a year. Um, I will put you in contact with the mathematics department people, and they can give you the information on how to do that. So the mathematics department, I think, has different requirements, but are you doing the IB, Arda? No. Oh, you're doing the Lycée Diplomacy? Yeah. Okay, then it's very easy. You do the Lycée Diplomacy, you do the exam, and you show your code card. Lots of Turkish students study mathematics at the KIT, so there's no surprises when you apply. 
Thank you. Great. I will put them in touch with you. Thank you. All right, do we have other questions? I would of course love I to be able to. Uh, more of a clarification in the IB curriculum, you mentioned there needs to be uh, two languages. Um, yes. It's just a clarification on that. So do they need to take like a French or German as a part of their IB curriculum or, um, I mean, they're also Turkish. Okay, thank you, can you? Turkish and English. Right. Are two, they are two languages and that's perfectly fine. Right. So if you have Turkish A and English A, perfect combination. Turkish A, English B is also fine, but we would like to see B at higher level English, so. Thank you, thank you. Great. If okay. anybody has something different, they can write that in the chat and I can tell them if everything will be fine with that. This is great. We have quite a few people interested, um, Yeniol 11th grade and maybe Achi 11th grade in the um, summer program. And the 12th graders here are specifically looking to apply. So uh, I was there this summer visiting and I've been telling people quite a lot about this university and it just seems to make a lot of sense for a lot of Turkish students, I think so. Um, yes, we have quite a few Turkish students. Our program is um, going to be 90% international students. So you'll have people from all over the world studying with us, but we are a technical, university in Germany. So you'll find a lot of Turkish speaking students and a lot of Turkish students as well in our program. So that means that you won't be alone and you'll be able to make some friends um, starting off in day one. In fact, there's quite a few students from Istanbul. We have some from Tarsus, Izmir. Um, so you'll see we have quite a lot of places. Um, so, and our student body that are coming from Turkish background. Maybe I can add, ask one last one. Um, of are students able to work within the university or outside? While yes, there? students are allowed to work both inside and outside the university during their studies. So if you are studying um, and you are working on campus and it's in a research area, it'll be a paid position. And you can also work um, as long as you want. There's no visa restrictions. The only restriction is how much money you earn. If you earn too much money, you start having to pay taxes and things get expensive. But other than that, you can work as much as you want. If you're working off campus, there is a restriction to the number of days you can work a year because you do have to think about your studies. If you work part-time, that means half days, um, it's up to 240, which is quite a lot. Yeah. So, and if you want to work more than that, you can ask for permission from the um, employment agency here. And sometimes they will say yes. Thank you. Yes, always happy to help. I'm happy to hear that are some are that there are many students that are interested in studying in Germany, and I even heard that uh, one or two of the students might be interested in studying uh, even in German. If you ever want to know more about studying in German or studying here at the KIT, you can always reach out to me at any time by email. So I'll put up my email address, um, and you guys can of course reach out to me at any time. So I'll write that in the chat for you. Thank you. We, we really appreciate you doing this after your work day. <laughs> no problem. I'm always happy to be of help. So my email address is alancordell at kit.edu. If you ever have any um, questions about studying in Germany, feel free to reach out to me. If you would like to apply for one of the programs, definitely reach out to me and I'll be able to follow along and help you through the application process. So we're always looking to see wonderful and talented new students joining our mechanical engineering program and many of the programs here at the KIT. Thank you. So with that, I'll end the recording. All right, thank you.